When we make changes to properties in the Bill of Materials or even Design Explorer, they apply to components on the schematic. In terms of library management, however, it can be more useful to update the parts in their libraries so that all the changes are in place for future designs. The Edit Library command in Library Manager lets us do this in a structured way. The default view shows a list of physical properties already in the library, with a row for each library part and a column for each property. The index properties used for searching are on the left, and other properties are shown towards the right. You can enter values directly in the grid to assign or edit properties for parts. If you want to add a new property, then use the Edit Columns button. This presents a dialog showing a full listing of properties in the library and the predefined physical properties. You can select one or more of these to add to the grid and then add data in the normal way. Alternatively, if the property does not exist, you can create a new one. Give it a name and a type and then add it to the grid and populate with data as needed. The property definition will be stored and available in the default list should you wish to add to other libraries. You can review changes to parts already on your schematic from the Manage Changes command. From here you can see any properties, updates or additions and choose whether to use these updated parts in the current design or not.